If you look at the statistics, the fertility rates have been declining so much over a period of the last few decades. And we can actually contribute this to our lifestyle, our daily habits, our reduction in physical activity because of sedentary jobs, not the best diet that we consume, the high stress levels that we have, not only this but also the environment that we surround ourselves with. Chemicals, pollutants, pesticides, so much of chemicals that are present in the food, water, air, etc. All of these when they enter our body disturb the delicate balance of our reproductive hormones which then causes infertility. So in this video we are going to discuss the environmental factors that do contribute to reduction in our fertility and what is it that we can do at our level to reduce their exposure. So if this is something that interests you, definitely watch the video till the end. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Zainab Tajir. I am a homeopathy consultant and psychological counsellor. I specialise in helping women balance their hormones and help couples conceive naturally through homeopathy and holistic lifestyle changes. So if these topics are something that interests you, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, before I get into telling you anything, let me tell you this first. It's very difficult for us to reduce 100% exposure to all of these chemicals and toxins. So you do not need to stress about it a lot. But yes, it's all about taking one step at a time and making small and sustainable changes that at the end of the day can account to making good difference, especially in improving your fertility. Most of the things that we surround ourselves with contain EDCs or endocrine disrupting chemicals. These chemicals, when they enter inside our body, they mimic our natural hormones and they can increase or decrease the levels of our natural hormone, thus causing a hormonal imbalance. Therefore, it's very important for us to identify these EDCs and try and remove their exposure from our daily life. Some of these common EDCs include bisphenol A, which is very commonly found in plastics, phthalates, parabens, pesticides, dioxins, PCB or polychlorinated bisphenols, etc. Now, what is it that we can do to reduce our exposure to all of these environmental toxins? Like I already said, the most common one is found in plastics. So it's very important for us to try and replace our plastic containers with ceramics, glass or stainless steel. So if you are someone who uses a lot of plastic water bottles, please try and replace them with glass or stainless steel bottles. Secondly, avoid storing your food in plastic containers. Also, if you need to microwave your food, please make sure you do not do it in plastic containers because the plastic from these containers can leach into your food, enter into your body and thus cause a hormonal imbalance. Also, it's important to use a tin foil to wrap your food instead of using a plastic foil. Even if you are buying food that is stored in plastic containers, make sure that they are at least BPA free plastics and as much as possible try to avoid that. The second most common chemical that we tend to find is parabens and phthalates which is very commonly found in skincare products, shampoos, cosmetics, makeup products etc. So it is very important for you to read the labels on your shampoos or cosmetic products before you buy it and try and opt for more organic products or more naturally produced products that do not contain all of these chemicals and are paraben and sulfate free. Thirdly, the pesticides that are sprayed upon the food also has a lot of chemicals that can interfere with your hormonal balance and so as much as possible try to opt for organic food but if at all it is not possible, it's very important for you to wash your vegetables, fruits and everything extremely thoroughly before you actually consume it to avoid these pesticides from entering within your body. Also the fragrances that are added to a lot of cosmetic products, to detergents etc. are also something that can interfere with your reproductive hormones. So also as much as possible try to opt for fragrance free products. Now, taking care of your environmental toxins did not, does not necessarily begin when you first start experiencing hormonal issues or you want to try and conceive, but this is something that you need to do right from the start. So start making healthier choices for your children as well. Make sure that you do not buy plastic toys for them. Buy more wooden toys, buy toys that contain BPA-free plastics etc. 
and also make better choices when it comes to food and household items for them. Now, as I already previously mentioned, try and do as much as you can, but don't obsess too much over it. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also share it with someone who would really find this information helpful. I really appreciate you sticking by till the end and I will see you again next week.